Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our auction this evening. My name is Tony Fountain, auctioneer for Ray White Wetherill Park. The format will be, I'll read out the terms of auction under which we're operating. They're also displayed on the wall over there. We'll then take you through the uh, summation of contract for each property and then uh, through the description on the screen and then submit the property to your bidding. So as all properties are being sold by auction, the principal reserve price must be given in writing to the auctioneer before the auction commences. A bid for the seller cannot be made unless the auctioneer has before the commencement of the auction announced clearly and precisely the number of bids which may be made on the vendor's behalf, which is one. The highest bidder is the purchaser, subject to reserve price. In the event of a dispute to bid, the auctioneer is the sole arbitrator whose decision shall be final. The auctioneer may refuse to accept any bid and the auctioneer's opinion is not in the best interest of the vendor and a bidder is taken to be a principal list before bidding given the auctioneer a copy of written authority to bid for and on behalf of another person. All that simply means if you're here this evening to bid on behalf of someone else apart from your own personal interests, be it family member or whatever, uh, we do need a letter of authority from them, otherwise we assume you're bidding in your own right and should you be the successful bidder we'd be asking you to sign the contract and pay the deposit. A bid cannot be made or accepted after the fall of the hammer and as soon as practical after the fall of the hammer the purchaser will sign the agreement for sale. Now all bidders must be registered in the bidder's record and displaying an identifying number when making that bid. So each time you make a bid because you please hold your white card up. One bid only made by and on behalf of the vendor and should I make that bid I have to clearly announce that it is the vendor's bid. Now it's an offence under the Property Stock and Visit Agent Act 2002 for any person to indulge in a collusive practice such as to ask someone to abstain from bidding, bid for limited extent only or do any other act or thing which may prevent free and open competition. The successful bidder at the auction must give to the auctioneer and employer of the auctioneer the bidder's name and the name of the person who sit on whose behalf that bid was made. All persons attending the sale are advised by the sellers the sale may involve a risk of physical harm and or loss and uh, the accept no responsibility. So that's the story there. Okay, folks, well, before we start, I'd like to take the opportunity, if I could, of thank our vendors tonight very much for their support. Uh, Ray White of the leading auction agents, or Wetherill Park, are the leading auction agents in South Western Sydney, and obviously can't be there without our vendor support, so we do very much appreciate that. We've also here got Marco Capetta. Uh, Marco is a representative of the loan, aid, loan market uh, finance services. Um, he's one of the top fellows operators in the business. If you uh, are looking for finance, tonight's probably a bit late to get it for a house, but have a talk to Marco. Never too late. Have a talk to Marco. Uh, he's been very successful at doing that. So the first problem we're coming on to, uh, listed through, um, through Vince Salvatore, uh, is the property known as 11 Bancroft Rover at Abbotsbury. The vendor's conveyance is for Tia and Associates. It's sold with vacant possession. The inclusions are blinds, curtains, fixed floor coverings, light fittings, range hood, stove and the pool equipment. So let's go for a walk through the property and then we'll submit the property to your video.